So at this point, what we've got is a simple map that's showing up on both iOS and Android and the ability to actually switch back and forth between the map view and the list view. On the actual list view, you're seeing all of the results or all of the, um, the, the charging locations that our server actually responds. However, when we go to the map, none of those locations are actually showing up. What we're going to do is use the map view markers to actually add uh, individual markers like you would see, you've seen on maps before to our map which represents the actual locations. So to actually display the markers on the map we'll be using the map view dot marker which is a component that's coming from the react native uh, meteor packet or sorry the react native maps package that we're using. So if I go ahead and jump into my near me map dot js file and I'm just going to modify the map view component to no longer be a self-closing component, which means that we can add children to it. Um, so the first thing we need to do is actually loop over the locations, which as you can see here is being passed in as a prop. And these locations are, as you've seen from the rest of the course, it's an array of um, objects. So if we go ahead and map over those, first thing we'll do, we'll just return those values Okay, and then at this point we need to create a new component. Um, we'll create a new map view dot marker for each lo each no each charging location within our application. So go ahead and say map view dot marker. Okay, and we'll eventually be adding children to this. So we'll just make this. We'll leave this open right now. So just ignore that error. Now this map view dot marker takes on two properties. Um, the first is a key, and that's if you've used React, you know that uh, whenever you're mapping over values, you're going to have to set a key. So for that, we'll just use the location ID. Um, each location has an ID. They're going to be unique, so it's a perfect use case for the actual key here. And the other one is going to be coordinate. And the coordinate is basically going to be the latitude and the longitude of this location on the map, which uh, the package will actually use to drop a marker on the map. So Knowing that, we'll say longitude and latitude, and then we actually need to access those values. So I'll use a little bit of ES6 goodness to uh, make it a bit easier for us to actually access those values. So say latitude and longitude, and then it's going, the location um, is actually going to be on location.location.coordinates, if I can spell that correctly. So with that information, um, we should, upon saving this, be able to go back to our actual simulators and see those markers show up. So if I go into iOS, switch over to the map, okay, it's saying I can't find the variable location, so I have a typo somewhere. And that would be right here. So uh, the actual locations array is locations plural, and I forgot that S, so I'll save that. Okay, jump back over save it and we'll see that on iOS we've got the markers on Android we also have those markers so that's working out perfectly so with the markers actually showing up on the screen we want to actually be able to get some information about those locations and go ahead and progress to the location details screen so that we can you know check into them see the activity and just see more information about them just like we do on the list view um, and to do that we'll be leveraging what are called map view callouts. And to do this, we need to use um, two components. One is coming from the actual React Native Maps package, which is called mapview.callout. And the other one is a custom component called map callout. And if you've downloaded the starter app, um, the code is already in your project. If you start this project uh, in an earlier version, then you might have to uh, create those components and the, all that code is in the actual lesson itself, so you can get that there. Um, so first off, what we need to do is actually import that. And very basic, I'm importing the component, and then I'm importing some styles because we need that for the actual map view dot callout that we'll be using. So then by scrolling down, um, a callout belongs to a marker, so we'll add that as a children, as a child to the actual map view dot marker we've already got there. So to do so, I'll say map view dot callout, and then this will add, this has a child, which is the actual map callout, which we just 
imported. And then this doesn't take any children, so we'll just make that a self-closing uh, component. Now to get things working, we need to add a couple uh, properties to this mapview.callout. First off is a style property, um, and this is just, just making sure that things actually render and render consistently between both iOS and Android. If you want to dive into what that is actually doing, uh, just go ahead and check out the code that's in the in the lesson itself. So say map callout styles dot callout container. And then the other thing we want to add to this is tooltip, which again uh, is just a styling thing. It means that we're handling all the styling and this map view dot callout doesn't have to do anything other than render our custom component. And then on the map callout itself, we want to um, actually display some information. It would just be a white box at this point. So first off, we'll give the title of the location and that, just like the list view, is going to be location.station name. And then the description is going to be, again, just like the list view, it's going to be this subtitle function, which is going to generate a subtitle or description for us uh, based on the information that we have um, for that location. So save that. We'll head back over to our simulators, press it, look at our map, and then if I did everything correctly, when I tap this, we see this uh, little modal or callout pop up uh, with some information about the various charging locations. And then we can do the same. We'll check it out on Android. The last thing we want to do is actually make these modals tappable. So when somebody taps them, our app actually does something. And in this case, it's going to bring us to the locations detail screen. Super, super simple to do this. And we're just following a pattern that you've used elsewhere in the course. So um, on this, I guess I should preface this. Due to a bug in React Native Maps right now, I found that I need to duplicate this on press for both um, this mapview.callout as well as map callout because mapview.callout, the on press is called for Android. For the map callout component, the on press is called for iOS. So we'll just be writing the exact same code um, just to make sure that everything works as we expect it on both iOS and Android. So again, just like we did for the list, on press we'll go to location details and we'll add that to both uh, mapview.callout and map callout. Save that jump back over here and we'll just look at the iOS version first um, everything renders click this one jump into it and that works perfectly um, let's go ahead reload this just to make sure that everything is working properly on Android send our location switch over to the map and looks good so that's how we add the uh, on press handler or going to location details from a map view callout. Hey guys, just a quick heads up. If you're watching this on YouTube, this lesson is actually a segment of my course, Learn React Native Meteor, which can be accessed from reactnativemeteor.com. Uh, it's a full on course of building an app with React Native that's backed by Meteor. We build for both iOS and Android. We're using a real data set. Um, it's, I might be a little biased here. It's an awesome course. Uh, I would highly suggest you guys check it out. Again, reactnativemeteor.com. Um, we're using the user account system. We're using geospatial queries in MongoDB. Um, there's an awesome community that you can join on Slack. We've got well over 120 people now. So would love to have you. Go ahead, check out reactnativemeteor.com if you uh, enjoyed this lesson preview. And if you do, we'd love to have you. So thanks for watching.